Welcome back, uh, Minecrafters, to Roo Studios Tech It series on Tech It 1.2.9G. This is episode 9. Um, previous episode, I was um, contemplating on where to put the pulverizers and redstone furnaces. Well, I'm going to make a, an alley, alleyway down this way. Um, I've left some room here for, to expand my ME network and what I can do is I can actually come across to this side and expand it over this side as well so there should be enough room there to, to do what I need in there. Um, I've added a roof across here to um, just to start keep building the base and what I'm doing at the moment is just piping in the uh, power to the extra pulverizers and uh, I'm just about to make some more redstone furnaces and what I wanted to do is show you how I went about uh, making um, these things on the uh, on these crafting terminals here. So I opened up one, I've, I've got a couple of machine frames and some redstone reception coils ready to make. Now if I go up into the terminal here and I type in redstone and I see the, uh, the furnace here I go R, it shows me the recipe. I hit the question mark here, it puts it into the recipe here. So now I'm looking for some redstone, so I've got some there. All I do is put one there, and as this recipe comes in and, and it's complete, I don't have to hold things in my inventory, I leave it in the ME network system. So I'm looking for some bricks now. I've got a couple of bricks, I probably need some more, so let's see if I've got any clay. I do have some clay so what I'll do is I'll grab this clay and I will go into a redstone furnace and I'll cook it up okay so where's that going oh it's going into the chest that's where it's going um, the outputs right next to the chest so that's that's fine um, normally it's staying there but I've got a chest there what I'm going to do is um, I have a chest here that I can manually put things into the furnace down here and I'll have some ME cable coming out of the back All right, I haven't set the inputs and outputs yet on these uh, that'll feed into my network system now I can put the cable anywhere in this on these systems and it will feed into it um, I can also once I'm done connect the ME cables anywhere up here uh, as long as there's one cable going into the uh, the system uh, it's all networked and it will all work so it's really really handy and you don't have to run cables, uh, pipes or cables back and forth all the time. Okay, so I'm just uh, cooking up some bricks. Let's just put some of these together. Nope, still need some more. So we've got a brick there and there. So we have five. I'm making, I'm making another six. So I need 12 bricks all up. So there's two. So I need another 10 bricks in here for it to all work. And these are just cooking up nicely. So yeah, I'm going to run the uh, the redstone furnaces above, All right? And the ones above will be the ones that feed directly into the network here that I'll filter. And I'll put the filters above the uh, above the the floor here when I get up there. I'll put the filters above the floor, so. Uh, and I'll show you what to do and how we how we actually set those up so it filters what comes out of the ME system. Uh, further into the, into this episode, a little bit later on, I'm going to go into the Nether and I'm going to set up a mine network in the Nether because the ores in the Nether give you a far bigger return than our mine system down here. So I'm going to grab one more turtles back and I'm going to go and set up a a little base and I'm going to go into the Nether and we're going to we're going to extract all the redstone ores. Uh, not the rest, and all, all the uh, the nether ores out of there, because they give you a, a bigger return on your on your product, which is kind of handy. So I'm just finishing this up. 25. That should be enough. Yep, that's enough. So we can put that in there now. Notice how I'm moving away and coming back, and this is still set up. So there's 11 there. That should be enough for what we need. I'll just put that in there for now. Now I can't remember what I what I needed to to do here. So if I go redstone furnace and I go R for recipe, I need some copper and some redstone. 
and I hit the question mark, it pops in there. Notice that everything's still staying in place. So all I need is some copper now. And this is the beauty of this uh, this crafting terminal setup. It uh, it leaves everything where it is, so you can just work around and build it. So there's our redstone furnace, and I need six of these. So I'm going to click it six times. One, two, three, four, five, six. And obviously now that we've got six of them, some items have run out. Okay, so that makes that so uh, non-existent that thing. And we have our six redstone furnaces. So that is so much better than using a crafting table. And let's plonk them up here. And now we need our red our leadstone cable, our power cable. Powering underneath. Coming across and out. And then power all these. Now I've changed the system downstairs a little bit because um, I'm now powering 12 machines here so it's going to suck a bit of power out of me and I've added another couple of uh, magmatic dynamos to the system. I've moved it across a little bit, I've had to and now those 12 magmatic dyna those 12 machines are now being run by these three uh, magmatic dynamos. You can see that you know they're filling up now but um, yeah, they're, they're, it's going to take a little bit out of them, so it should be okay. Once everything's full and buffered up, that should be enough to uh, to keep it going. Okay, and that is how I'm going to set it up. I'll put some uh, walls up and for some facades up here, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. But just as soon as I get my item ducts, here we go. So let's go into here, put our item ducts across the top. And our spanner to turn that into a input. Now the red arrow going out of the chest, so the direction of flow is now going out of the chest and into the uh, machines, which is good. And they'll go from there out of here. Now we want to be able to turn off. We don't want them to go into this chest here. So all we need to do here is go into our settings oh, and switch switch that off. Notice now that there's no uh, color on the edge there that will no longer go into the chest, it will actually feed into our ME network system once we get it set up. Okay, um, I haven't made any, any imports or exports yet uh, and I will but we need to get some resources so I'll run a little bit low on resources. So I'm going to head down to the mine and I'm going to pull back, on, pull back my turtles. Let me just put some stuff away here. Uh, in fact what we might do first is we might set up a little pumping system for our uh, oil because there's some oil in there I want to gather so what we need to make is uh, some tanks uh, I might just smelt up some glass while I'm here so perfect way of testing things there we go and take that out that should now no alright so notice it's not going in there I think what we need is a servo in here and to power it. So if we go, I have a couple of servos. Here we go. And we click on it and then we'll click on that one too. And then we go into our servo and we configure this. We can now right click on this and come up with some uh, some methods. Now up here in the enable in the uh, redstone control, if we ignore it, it turns it on and you can now see our sand heading into the furnaces and we can do the same with this one here come up here and ignore the uh, the redstone keeps it on all the time so whenever you put something in here it feeds it straight into the system too easy okay so we'll let that bubble away for now uh, and I'll just make some tanks this is how we make a tank all right all you do it's exactly the same as making a chest except you're doing it with glass and we'll get one two should do for now and there are our tanks. And what we're going to do is we're going to put these downstairs and I'm going to connect a ender tank to it. Um, I put it, in fact I might put it over here for now because I'm going to pump it into the ME system uh, as soon as I get that set up. So I'll plonk it over here next to the uh, next to the power system we're in here somewhere for now. Just put it there and there okay and what we need now is a couple of ender tanks 
Hopefully we've got some material there to make that. If not, I'll duck away and we'll get some materials to make some ender tanks. Eventually that'll all be covered up. You won't actually see any of those pipe works there. Um, I'll show you how to do that. That's, uh, I'll use uh, the forged micro blocks with these, but with the ME cables, you need to use uh, facades. Uh, oh, I notice there's two yellow lights here now. That tells you that the uh, the item positions, the types are full on each of them, but they're not entirely. Uh, they still have room to move some of those items into uh, into those discs. So you can see that it's got 959 of 1,024 bytes, and there's 63 of 63 types. So you can't put any more items in this disc, but you can put more of what's in there in there. If, the, if that makes any sense. Same, same. So when it goes red, it means it's full and you can't use it anymore. Okay. Sometimes it might be only um, 45 or 63 types, but you might have so much of all that that it's actually full. All right. So we, we're, giving, we're doing pretty well there. We've got all our stuff in there and it's, it's plugging along nicely. Um, we'll work towards getting our automatic crafting happening and see if we can get some of those storages, storage things going. Okay, where were we? I put my servo away. That's all set up. Um, now, ah, oh, turtles. Get my turtles. Nope, nope. Sorry, my mind's turning mush. It's been a long day, so uh, we need ender tanks. There it is. There. If we go ah, uh, so we need some cauldrons. We may not have enough. Iron. So we might need to go mining a little bit and get some iron happening. We've only got two pulverized iron dust, so we need some iron. Let's pop that in there. So I'll be back uh, directly um, with some more materials, and hopefully we'll build it up and we'll get it. Uh, we'll get some stuff happening. Uh, I'll be back directly. Okay, so I've got some more resources there. Um, chugging away there so we'll uh, we should have enough resources to make a couple of ender tanks but um, while I'm waiting for that I might just duck down into the ender I've got my turtles here might just tuck down and not the end tuck down into the nether and we'll start our um, mine shaft down in the end uh, sorry the nether um, and I, like I said before well, the reason we do this is the the ores coming out of the nether are uh, a lot more return I'll give you a much better return on your uh, on your investment so uh, I'm not going to muck around too much I'm going to go straight from here and I'm going to dig down um, I'm going to get into about level 12 I think I don't think it really matters which how far down you go but I want to get below the um, the lava oceans I don't want to be swamped by lava so I'm going to just head down this way eventually we'll uh, we'll dress this up and we'll have a, a nether base happening um, and we'll keep going so just bear with me and I'll get down to uh, level 12 here okay here we are at uh, level 12 um, like I said there's not much difference here but I'm just now underneath the uh, the lava lava ocean I had to level out a few times up here as you can see just here and another one just here because the, the lava is right there okay so didn't quite go far enough but that's okay I'm down to level 12 now and now I'm going to put my turtles to work. So I'm going to just dig out a bit more on this side and a little bit more on this side. Because the turtles are going to go wide here. I'm going to have the turtles dig the main shaft as well. So, um, all right, so I'll put, let's see, one turtle just there, another one just there and another one I better put a block there and a turtle just there and a turtle just there so that'll dig a six by four area for us as a main shaft uh, and if we need to decorate later on we can decorate later on and uh, and move right along so I just put some fuel in it and go tunnel 100 and away he goes all right, and I'll do the same with all four of them. OK, 
Okay, so those four fellas are now digging my main shaft. And now what I'll do is I'll put the other two heading in this way to dig my branch shafts. That way. Ah, okay, I missed one. So this fella here has no fuel. So let's add some fuel to it. And that's what happens. He'll just continue on now. And you'll dig away. This fella's going to dig away, and now I'll dig another one just here. Put his fuel in and go. Okay. Now I have noticed um, when you do this, if I end up moving away too far, um, they and they, they actually unload their chunks and uh, they st actually stop stop digging. So I tend to just sort of go off a little off a little bit here and just wait for them to finish digging and uh, um, we do what we need to do from there and as, as they dig the tunnel out you just grab the ores you need there's some more here, just grab that and there's some more here now I've noticed in the nether with this version if you use a fortune pick on the ores sometimes they blow up there we go see it there it blows up so I tend not to um, I tend not to use uh, anything other than the silk touch in here um, because it might blow up. Now again, that doesn't bother the turtles; they'll just work on through it, no problems at all, and and crack on. All right, so we'll just keep digging up the uh, the ores as they as they present themselves. Um, the return on the nether redstone uh, ore is just insane. One of these blocks gives you 24. Uh, redstone. It's just amazing. Okay, notice there the turtles it got um, it dug out a uh, thing. I just went straight through it. Completely impervious to any lava or any destruction of the sort of kind. It'll dig out everything. And all oh, oh, we do, damn it, got me. In mind, is just get a bit closer. And block it off. There we go, blocked. Oh, here we go, another one here. So this is all we do. I just, just I just come through here, and as the as they uh, spring up, I'll just block it off, and let it come down. And you see, there he is. There's a little tail there, completely buried. Nothing bothers them. They just keep going. All right, so I'll just uh, hang around a bit, and we'll wait till they um, wait till they finish digging their tunnels, and uh, I'll come back. And then we'll go back into the overworld, and I'll show you what sort of returns we get on this this nether ore. So uh, bear with me, and I'll be right back. Okay, so my tunnels, my turtles have done their job, and they've dug the um, the shaft to nice, you know, 100 meters long, the main shaft. So now I can. Um, go through and start doing the herringbone um, areas. Now I might run out of space here before I better pick up all these turtles so um, that's okay we'll, we'll head up to the overworld and we'll come back here because um, this is where all the good resources are. You can see we've got a fair few um, resources here. Uh, I'll pick up some of that, some tin, various, yep Okay. All right. I'll leave the rest uh, rest here, and I'll come back to the overworld. But in the meantime, we'll head off to um, the overworld, and I'll just show you the return on the nether ores that we get. Okay, back in the overworld now, and I'll just put in one of these. Oh, we need to get some need to get rid of some stuff. There we go. Okay, let's put in um, sulfur. Oh, that's still got still going. That's still going. There we go. Let's put in the tin. See what sort of return we get. Now, normally it's two to one. Here it's four to one. Right, so you get twice as much out of your out of your nether ore as well. So it's um it's a really good return. So 
normally I'll be setting my mine shaft in the nether and spending a bit of time down there to gather my resources. I like the same for your all your ores. Now I'll put some once this is done. Um, I'll put some redstone in there and check this out. Here's the redstone. Look at the return on the redstone we get. It's just insane. 24. That's just amazing, and it's 24 every time too. So um, you'll never run out of redstone in a, in a pink fit. Not that you do anyway, but this is just crazy, crazy good um, numbers. So um, get into the nether, set your turtles up and do some mining in the nether. It is well worth it. Okay. So now that we've got this uh, burnt, we should have enough here to make a couple of, oh, excuse me, a couple of um, ender tanks. So we need some cauldrons. Three cauldrons, that's interesting. Uh, I know, I did it wrong. I'm in the crafting stage, so that's alright. Uh, and we need... Alright, so we need some blaze rod. So we've put a cauldron in there. Pop that up there. We need some blaze rod. So, one, two, three, four. We need some obsidian. There and there. And we need some wool, hopefully. Oh, we've got no wool. Okay, so we need to go and get some shears, so... We'll duck back here and we'll head over to our sheep and grab some shears. Go grab some wool while we're here. I haven't done anything with these uh, these sheep at the moment. They're just uh, merrily sitting around there. Um, we'll get to those directly. We've got enough food to keep going. Um, pretty soon we'll come over here and we'll turn these into a bit of a, a sheep farm. Um, right up here. Get ourselves some some wool. There we go, and head back out again. Okay, back into our crafting area. Some wool there. Just pop that in there. And the last thing we need is a couple of pearls, so one there. So we've only got enough for two ender tanks, so one and one more. There's our two ender tanks, which is good. I'll just uh, get rid of the rest of this stuff for now. And we now need, I'll clear that, we now need um, some pumps and some pipes. Do I have, I do have some stone, uh, yeah, stone fluid pipe will do. Um, we need some redstone engines. Only got one. Where are the others? I must have must have made some. Do I have any in here? I must have. Maybe have some over here. No. Nothing. Okay. So I'll make some redstone engines. Okay. And we're good. Okay, so what we're going to do now, let's grab a couple of those. Probably don't need them, but we'll grab. Oh, no, we, no, we don't need them. We'll go back. So, our two ender tanks are matched with the tops, uh, with the uh, die at the top. So, we're going to go downstairs and we're going to put in uh, the pipes and what we need down here for the to feed it into the tanks so all I'm going to do is grab this pump here I'm going to place it about here somewhere and then these stone fluid pipes right there like that okay so that'll feed into the tanks so now we're going to do is we're going to go down to the mines we're going to set this up and we're going to pump that oil into those tanks. OK, 
Okay, here it is here. Let's go around the other side. It's a fair way up this, so I might have to um, do a bit of climbing. Yeah, so it's right there, right the way up there. So let's we'll grab the emerald while we're there. <laughs> okay. Some yellow right, and might grab that while we're here. Uh, we need yellow right because it's going to make some. Uh, this is what runs our big reactors. This stuff, and uh, the more we can get now, the easier it will be in the future to get ourselves set up properly. Okay, so we're at the top of it. Now, if you look at it, the, you'll see when we start digging around, it has a centre. Um, we've got a torch. We've got a torch here. Let's show you. Light up a little bit. Yeah, see how it's got a centre there? We want to put our pump over the top of that. So what we do is we just put a... We want to get some more blocks here. So block there block there and now we put our pump down there our ender tank sits on top like that and we put around the pump the uh, the redstone engines so block there with a lever and the lever turns both those pistons on and on this side We put another pump there and there with that and a lever. So now what we do is just turn them on and you'll see if we just go down a little bit you see something coming out of the bottom of the pump there into the uh, into the oil and you'll see after a, after a little bit this should actually start filling up. There we go, We've got some oil happening in there and it's starting to fill up. What will happen is as it pumps notice it goes down and it starts pumping more in All right, as it speeds up it'll go a bit faster but that is pumping into that ender tank now it's filling up there because the other side isn't set up yet so all we do is we leave that going until all that oil is pumped down to nothing so we'll just head back down again and we'll go back to our our tank down here okay and over here on it oh, see how see how our end tank over here is full but nothing's emptying out Okay, so that's matching up now because the three dies, the three bits of wool at the top match the other side, another match the other end of tank. Now to get it out of this, you see the little round dial here. That's set to blue. That tells you that it's actually an input. So there's something going in now. To turn, you turn that by right clicking it and put the red on top, and that forces it out of this end, of, this end of tank, and into the the tank. So we turn that round. You notice now things are emptying out and heading into our tank. All right, so now we're pumping uh, oil from uh, a spot down the uh, down in the mine down there into a usable area into our tank here. Okay, and that's how we do it. We don't need to run pipes for miles and miles and miles and miles like I've done once before. You just don't need to do it. All you do is you use a couple of inner tanks and fill up that way. All right, and uh, that's it for our for this one. It's a fairly big one. Um, I've got a lot of editing to do on this, so it should be down to around 20-25 minutes. Um, I hope you enjoyed it, hope you're enjoying the series, if you do um, like and subscribe, share the videos to other people and I'll catch you on the next tutorial, bye for now.